Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Wednesday, July the 12th. And today I want to do an experiment with my uh, L-band dish there. And uh, what I've got here is I've got a RTLSDR with a bias T. It's the E4000 tuner. And I've got um, Inmarsat LNA. So what I want to do is I want to measure the Doppler shift on a NOAA satellite. Now, NOAA-18, there's the um, NY20 plot of NOAA-18, so it's going to come from northern Canada around 1137, and it's going to be opposite me around 1144, and then go south. Now, it's going very fast. It's apparently got, I'm not 100% certain on this, but apparently it has an L-band transmitter at 1544.5 megahertz. So I'm going to try and measure the Doppler shift on that. I'm going to use SDR Sharp and I'm going to record at 1544.5. I'm going to save it to an IQ file and we're going to look at the carrier and see if it moves uh, because No 18 is a low Earth orbiting satellite so it's traveling very fast. So it'll be interesting to see what the Doppler shift is. We could also do it at uh, 137 megahertz which is the frequency at which it transmits the weather information. I'll do that on a separate experiment, but I just thought it'd be interesting to use my dish because it's got a high gain, whereas the uh, V-dipole's got a low gain. So we'll try the dish and see what happens. So here's a look at the um, <coughs> trajectory of NOAA 18. Um, this is July the 12th, starting around uh, 1137 going to 1152. So I'm not located in Montreal, I'm located in Toronto. So NOAA 18 comes in from the north and around, <clears throat> let's say, 1145, it's right opposite me and then it goes south. Um, so we're going to look at um, two signal captures from this morning, one when the uh, satellite is approaching from the north and one when it's receding to the south. And then I took another one this past Sunday. Uh, so there's NOAA 19 on Sunday. You can see that it actually is closer to Toronto. Again, it's coming from the north and going south. So we'll look at that one as well. Okay, so now we're seeing uh, the signal from NOAA 18, the L-band transmitter. It's coming in from the north. The red line is the nominal frequency, which is uh, 1544.5 megahertz or gigahertz. And you can see that the carrier frequency is above that. Um, let's zoom in on the carrier here to get a better idea. So there we go. And you can see you can see here that the carrier frequency is above where it's supposed to be. It's like 30 kilohertz above, but it's decreasing rapidly as it approaches um, a location opposite me. So right now, it's still, um, still 30 kilohertz above. But you can see by this tilted line here, you can see that it's decreasing. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to go to the second signal capture I got when the satellite was receding. So that frequency will be, be below um, 1544.5. This is like 30 kilohertz above, and we'll see when it's below. Okay, so now we're looking at the signal as, it, uh, as NOAA 18 passes by and heads south. There's the, uh, the carrier there. Let's zoom in on that. So, so right now, then we're below um, we're below uh, 1544.5, and we're decreasing. And you can see the slope of this angle here as the uh, Doppler shift, as the frequency decreases from the nominal carrier frequency. So now the satellite's moving away. So finally, we're going to look at the signal from this past Sunday, and um, it's probably a little bit uh, more pronounced since it was more directly overhead. So there we have the um, satellite approaching. This is NOAA 19 and we can see that this is um, let's zoom in on that. There we go. Since it's more, um, it's more close. It's closer to where I am. You can see, you can see the real, 
slant here and the change in the carrier frequency as it uh, as it moves away from my location. So it's really pronounced here, the Doppler shift.